All right, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, let's go ahead and clear this space so we can channel some messages. All right, let's drop into our heart space, calling in <clears throat> our guides, angels, ascended masters, calling on the Holy Spirit to purify our minds, our bodies, and our souls. I am the violet flame. I am the purity of God's desires. I invoke Archangel Raphael in the east for healing. Archangel Michael in the south for shielding. Archangel Gabriel in the west for divine truth and divine spiritual eyes. Archangel Uriel in the north for divine light by authority of the Holy Spirit to cast out the lower vibrational energies and transmute it to light. Archangel Sandalphon for grounding into Mother Earth. Archangel Metatron to bring in our God Self, our Christ Consciousness. This is connecting us from all six corners as above, so below. And I thank you for being here on this journey. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I've been getting a lot of downloads all morning <clears throat> and last night. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and pull some cards and see if the cards how they'll flow out. Okay. We'll start out here with just some messages from the universe. like somebody is calling out for help, right? The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. Okay. Okay. So it's like... Well, that, that has nothing to do with it. But it's like the downloads I was getting is like somebody is calling out for help, right? They're trying not to show you how they're really feeling. Or they're, they've hidden something from you. <clears throat> Commitment. I'm finding. So, I don't know if somebody is calling out in a commitment, calling out about finding a commitment, calling out about um, finding their self. But it's like, um, <clears throat> somebody is in somebody's life that's false, right? Or something like that. It's like they're calling for help, or maybe it's false help, or maybe um, there's, it's like, Somebody's trying to blind you, blind your intuition or blind my intuition thing, and stop the messages to come out. Okay, and then when we said that, the Queen of Cups to come out. So, <clears throat> okay, yeah. So, shadow work needs to be done, healing work needs to be done. See how she's sitting there with her little bowl and she's opened up to spirit, completely open as over here. And it's like somebody is using, like today at work, I felt like somebody was doing fire magic on me or some type of thing trying to bind me, trying to blind me. But it's like they're not, ro the spirits aren't robots. They're not just there at your beck and call, you know. Divine protection will be there, right? They do step up for that. If they know that something that's happening is for the highest good of all, spirits, guides, angels, archangels will be there. And now, okay, the fool. Uh huh. Are you okay? So somebody could have tapped into your secrets or your intuition or something. And with this, it's like it's coming to them in a different way. So you could feel confused or like flipping around energies. Something about that. Maybe you need to get some crystals for healing. 
and um but see how she's just like free falling i gotta do this she's just like free falling down right like she was coming she's just uh, at that zero point and it's like anything that you you want and need at this point is manifesting really fast right because you're in that zero point field <clears throat> yeah tower definitely so there was a tower that happened here it could have happened in their life could happen in yours um it knocked out everything that wasn't ser serving right with the butterfly there it's like the trans and the squirrel so butterfly and squirrel so it's like the butterflies are here allowing this trend the transmutation to happen and maybe somebody that you're connected to or somebody that the person that you're connected to if you have a person is not wanting this transformation to happen they want you to stay in in the same vibrational set point that it was before right and like if it's somebody sending spirits to somebody spirits can discern just like people can right so if you try to send your what whatever demons things whatever to other people it's like they're going to discern and then they're going to help that person to get out of whatever that situation that you're trying to put them in and most quite possibly that situation can happen to you or somebody around you and i know that sounds strange or whatever that's this the message that they're giving me it's like spirits absolutely can discern they if they know that you're pure at heart that you have the best intentions for the people around you it's like yeah with the ace of cups it's like they'll give you that offer before they're gonna or that um healing that tidbit that offering of information they'll guide you to where you need to go um and how you can like heal these certain things in you because they see your potential as well spirits do see our potential they see um they know if you're a divine they know if what you know what kind of thing you're supposed to do here on this world they know your soul's mission right they're just as in tune as we are right so it's like <clears throat> so it's like they see that these people are trying to create a tower moment for you and they're coming in and saying no you already let or you already let go of what no longer serves you you're already trying to live it at that different vibrational set point you know you might have had this that and the third in the past but right now this is what we're focusing on because energy is fluid so like <clears throat> okay yes okay another thing i'm getting is somebody is ty is trying to tap into your um into your like line of abundance or your intuition your yeah okay that's why when i come home from work it's like i automatically you know um imagine everything that was there just going off sometimes i jump in the shower and do like a cleansing routine like that or even um right now i got the seven days of archangels prayers and uh incense right it's like calling on them for each different day working with the different vibrational frequencies of color right <clears throat> queen of swords trying maybe they're trying not because queen of swords she's like <clears throat> truthful she cuts out things again with the tower it's like maybe they don't want you to feel um confident in some type of way right they, they don't want you to see how spirit celebrates your, you they don't want you to feel comfortable in that right recognizing things that you have recognizing things that you went through take the first one yeah things that you went through <clears throat> okay so they see the seeds that you're planting right whoever this is whoever this else this resonates for um it's like you're stable you're secure you're sane you're confident you're rooted in with yourself right you're in touch with your emotions and energies around you yeah obviously they're trying to create all these illusions but instead of getting the illusions with seven and seven here it's like the um it's like the um 
the ethers are like, um, no, ma'am, no, sir. We are, it's, it's not illusions. It's a jump truck load of blessings, right? That's what's here is the blessings. You're pulling in the blessings. You're pulling through this spell work, these illusions. Um, and your higher self is literally here getting you to trial to try to invest in certain things that are, they could be sending people towards you is what I'm hearing to get you to try to invest in something with that ace of cups with the seven of pentacles to get you to try to um, invest in something to take a leap of faith with something. <clears throat> okay. We're going to go here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I just said with uh, the lovers, number six. So it's like, they want you to get in. Oh, six to one victory. Yeah. So they're trying to take a victory from you. Some type of victory. This could be um, trying to make you make a wrong choice in love. Make a wrong choice with what you plant your seeds in. If this is some type of investment, they want you to invest in something that's wrong to get you to lose. And I hate giving these negative messages out, but this has like been uh, all morning at work. It's like, this is all I've been over and over again um, seeing. Like they're trying to learn you. So that they can uh, attack you in some type of way. See what, how you can get into you. Right? But you you fight your own battles. God fights your battles for you. Right? Put on the whole armor of God each day. Right? If you believe in prayer. Prayer. Pray. Right? With the three of wands. It's like somebody is. <clears throat> it's like you can see how she's looking here. It's like. They could be of a different religion than you too, or maybe they don't believe in uh, God or something. But that's I don't. That's just for some. But yeah, it's like they don't want you to move on from whatever it is that they're offering you. They want you to stay in almost like a lack mindset. But you have all the things coming up here. Like there could be three different jobs coming in, three different people coming in, um, three different opportunities coming in. That they know is coming in as well. Somehow maybe they um, tapped into your Akashic Records or something. And it's like they're projecting projecting things onto you in a way. But it's there. The, the Three of Wands is there. You've made the choice you're going forward. Now you, you have to make sure that you've got your plan set in stone here, right? But you're going to have that victory no matter what. You can't... Um, this could be an Aries... Or not an Aries. I'm so sorry. Air sign. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know. Um, or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That. Um, yeah. That's doing this. Absolutely. They know. They know what you have coming in. They're trying to stop it. And then like yesterday. I was getting the glamour spells. And with that. Like I don't really know that much about those types of things. So I don't do those things. But. Um, what the message I was getting from that is like, somebody is trying to make their essence yours. Does that make sense? Your, no, your essence theirs. They're trying to flip the energies completely. Like if you're highly intuitive and they could, they're obviously highly intuitive too, but it, they're, if there's a different type of way that you are, they're trying to flip it around and make it look like that. Instead of celebrating that you both have these things, it's like they're trying to flip it around, right? Or they're just trying to take your intuition altogether. Um, but it's like with the glamour spells, it's like trying to mask who you are. Almost like put you in camouflage and hide you from uh, the world when they know that you're in that high vibrational energy. When they know, you know, try to keep you, okay. Instead of surrendering to things that they know, right? Or it's like you're not letting something go properly with this look at her. If this is what kind of situation that you're sitting with, it's like let it go. Get that divine sur surrender in with that divine intervention. Right? For this to come in. This could be somebody that offers your cup to a lot of people. Or maybe this is the person that's doing this who they have offered their cup to. It could be taken in so many ways, but it's like this person is in their head about it.
It's like you can always um, work with your ancestors, do your shadow work to rewrite every story in your life, right? You don't have to sit in this energy. So not only do we have nine of swords, we have the ten of swords. So maybe this person doesn't want to walk away from this person. Maybe this person has something... Um, yeah, nine of pentacles. It could be something to do with money. Maybe this person... Um, I want to say maybe this person um, takes care of this person financially and they don't want to lose that. They don't want to lose that financial stability. And they want to come in and try to block your abundance because they think that... what? Because they think that... It's like the magic is in your hands or in their hands, in this person's hands, right? And it's like wherever this person goes, they're going to prosper, right? Like whatever I do, I know that even if I lose it, I'm going to make it right back, right? And nobody is over everybody, right? You're, <clears throat> you manifest these things within you, right? The power within you manifests these things. Anybody can do this, right? So why would you try to take somebody else's for your own? 1616. Okay, so here's that King of Cups. So this person... You have to be strong enough to choose that you're going to turn away, that you're going to um, ride away in this boat. Like if you're just wanting to move away, move away from a job. It's like you're honoring your intuition, you're honoring your knowing. You know that no matter what these people do, you're protected by spirit. You're a, you're a light worker, or even if, you know, even if you're not a light worker, you're just on the on the journey, going within, um, learning, um, doing all the services for spirit, doing all the services for yourself that you're doing without any want for recognition or reward or anything like that in return. But it's like you know how you're feeling with all this water. This is your calm. This is your Zen space. And maybe these people are trying to come in and cause illusions or cause tar moments, trying to say that it's something when it's not. Um, yeah. So, all right, that's all we're going to do with that. Let's get a couple affirmations while we're on these cards. <laughs> Okay. Okay, what else do we got here? Mm hmm Abundance. Congratulations. It seems you are due for definitely a big piece, infinitely a big piece of abundance pie. Feel like you don't deserve it? Knock it off. It's already plated and ready to hit your table. Reluctant to take it? Shut your hole. Abundance pie is big enough to serve for everybody. So get your whipped cream ready unless you're lactose intolerant and enjoy your well-deserved metaphorical dessert. Okay. So, a spirit is giving you a wealth of abundance, a wealth of knowledge. Um, a victory is definitely coming your way. And whatever this energy is, I keep feeling it could be, you know, past, present, future for anybody. Um that I'm reading. It's like somebody is knowing this and they're wanting to somehow cause illusions and pretend like they're not trying to stop it. But in reality, we're all protected by our ancestors. We're all protected by the spirit, right? Um, as you evolve, as you, as you keep going, as you do your shadow work, it's like those, um, it's like as you raise your raise your vibration and love yourself more your intuition gets better your um the energy the good energy flows through you and it's harder for that spell work or that kind of even mental manipulation that these people are doing right and then we got haunted by thoughts of you so this could be an ex or somebody that's haunted by thoughts of you Maybe this person doing this is your ex and is projecting upon to other people. Okay, so it still has videos, pictures, and messages from you. This person could still have your messages, videos, pictures, and that could be why the, the hots, the hots, <laughs> the hots, the thoughts are um, weighing on them, right? But your ancestors are there trying 
Okay, it says ancestors ready to go to war, but you're trying to bring them in, bring them into others. BS. So you're innocent. So something could happen, and this person is trying to bring you, oops, into um, into somebody else's business, right? They could be trying to bring you into some kind of I don't even. This could be anything. Court case. Maybe they got in trouble at work. They're trying to bring you into that. Maybe with their family, they got caught doing something, and they're trying to blame it on you. It's that can go for. 800 things these are just literally messages that i've gotten from spirit or things that are going on in other people around me that i know it's journey that i picked up and things that i um things that i've looked into and that i study right so um it's like dan and dan and shay that dan and shay song keeping score right um okay so it's like what is how does that Dan and Shay song go? Keeping score. Um Well, you can look that up. It's like I don't know how many sunsets. Somebody could be sick. I don't this is just for a select few, but it's like I don't know how many sunsets I've got left. Um I just wanna love you, hold you close, enjoy enjoy you a little bit more. Something like that. And that's what I'm hearing right now. So maybe this person Want you, um, want you to come in and give them that love, right? It's like, let's drop the past and come forward. And maybe somebody knows that this person is trying to do this, so they're trying to distract you from that. That's that's exactly what it what, what it is. Or not, I'm, I don't mean to say that, but it's like that's exactly the energy that I'm picking up on, right? Okay. So mother mother wound for other wounds. Or no, just mother wound, feminine wounding, right? Okay, so they're they could have had a um, a certain type of relationship with their mother. You could remind them of their mother. They could be working on their mother wounds and their mother's side, right, to get rid of those things. Uh, maybe they had a narcissistic mother, a mother that re that could be the person that um, relies on them to take care of them, or an aunt, or somebody that was a motherly figure in their life. Could be grandma, aunt, mother, anybody, and it's like. Um, maybe they, or this person was used, he seen them or she seen them, either one, because energy is fluid as well as time, right? Uh, so maybe this person seen their mother do certain types of things to people and that's made them either have lesser respect for women or, um, yeah, basically have less respect for women or maybe they think that all women are like their mother, but definitely could be their mother that's the one that's doing this. And trying to intervene in that person's um, life. But it's like if you're not seeing through that projection that this. An, an illusion spell, spell, a protection spell. I don't, maybe this mother feels like they're protecting their son or this aunt or this. It could even be a sister, you know. But it's like. Um, yeah. That's like uses sex as a weapon. Okay, this person could have used sex as a weapon against you or that's what they're doing with others, you know, using sex as a weapon as a way to feel like you're stuck or maybe they did uh, some type of sex spells or something like that. Anything like that. Maybe that's that's a part of their mother and father wound is the way that they respect women even during sex, the way that they um because all these things, right, they all flow together. You're, when How you see your parents act, you know, you either choose to be like them or choose not to be like them. It says, put words into action, diving deep into top goals and dreams. Oh, it, that um, affects you in all areas of life, right? Then we had friend and family inf uh, interference on the bottom. And this person could be three to eight years younger than you or you could be or somebody that they're dealing with, right? You got to be strong enough to break these illusions, break these illusions that this is how all families are. These how how all because we had commitment here. Um, it's like all marriages aren't like that. All people aren't like that, right? And people are allowed to be however they want, right? You can't judge them for it. You can be like, oh, I don't do that. I don't act a certain way. But you and but then you can't be um, attached to how they are either, because the past is the past. So if somebody did something in the past, we have. We have Virgo, D, Divine Masculine. So this could be a Virgo man. 
or this person could just be practical, observant, dependable, and intel intellectual, right? So it's like this person, or that could be the person that they're casting illusions on, or Virgo, like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, that could be their main energy that they portray, right? Out to the world. Right? Okay. Right. People got to stop messing with innocent people. Like, a lot of people don't know everything that's going on in every situation. And when somebody tells them, you know, that this is how it is, it's like, how are we supposed to know? And then we also have an Aries here. Aries could be an Aries woman, but regardless of this, it's literally just the energy, right? Fiery, bold, spontaneous, independent, assertive. That could be also either per one of the people that's um, this could be the couple, this could be the family members, it's, this could be the person that they're doing the spell work on, um, either or, right, it could be a masculine feminine, a feminine masculine, however you see that, right, because, hmm, this, yeah, because we got that out of this friend and family, but literally, Make sure that you focus on the energy, not just the fact that it's Aries. But this is mirror, it says mirrored soul. So this person um, could be your mirrored soul, could be your twin flame, or you're just a mirrored soul. And that's part of your um, soul's mission, right? Is literally almost to test people to reflect back their, not negative energies, but the thing that you need up and need, they need to bring up and heal, right? Um, definitely, I'm getting that, but it's like, you are very similar in values or this person can be your exact opposite their values are different than yours but their goals are the same as yours and you know you have a soul contract with them and maybe they don't understand this maybe it's like that runner tracer dynamic that twin flames have where you keep coming back and forth as you all um progress on your journey and hopefully this person isn't trying to come back just because you have abundance right because that's not it's not right, but it's like you've got that intense charge of emotions when you're around each other. So you mirror them, mirror them back and forth to each other. It's like that unspoken bond, right? Okay. Like certain things manifest sometimes to teach one or both of you all a message, right? Because I learn more and I go through things too as I see other people do it as it's project, almost not projected, but like as it's... Um, coming out right and it helps you oh i can go back and do this that and the third but um definitely definitely okay like you can't so it's almost like you might have the same things to heal from the past or similar things maybe not the same right because everybody's got different things that's happened to them but um, this could even be a friend, you know, it's like a friend of somebody, maybe this is somebody you just met, hmm. but it says emotionally charged, has soul deep emotions with an open heart space. So again, this person could be a, this, this person doing magic, sorry, I have to move, um, can know that that's how this person feels. Maybe they don't like you. Maybe they think that you're not good enough for this other person, but it's like, you, God equally yokes you with people in your life to come in and give you the knowledge, to give you the wisdom, to give you the love, to offer you the opportunities. And when people around you try to intervene, it's like God and the spirits, they see that, the ancestors see that. So they're going to come in and they're going to cause some type of terror moment or some type of realization either in your life that these people are... um coming in and this is what their intentions for you are or in their life so that or, or in somebody around them's life so that they can see that this is what this is what because the, the lovers is um what uh it's ordained by god the angels it's if you believe in god you don't even have to believe in god but it's like it's ordained by the ethers the ethers are bringing these things in bringing this abundance in bringing um these seeds in these new opportunities whether this is your opportunities or their opportunities, it's like God is bringing these blessings in because of the work that you're doing on yourself, the shadow work you're doing, the um, things that you're doing to help others, the things you're doing to help the collective. So nobody can take that from you, right? 
and uh, it's like somebody acts different in front of different people or something like maybe th that and, and there's the option within the two people you know or maybe they don't act different they just yeah I get they act different they act different around different people that's just what I just heard but you're worth it you're worth everything that's coming towards you everything that God has for you no matter what. Nobody can try to cast all these spells, all these things. I mean, they might work for a hot second. And then you cleanse your, your space. You protect yourself. You protect your energy. And you get back on, tra on track, right? Mm -hmm. Remain detached, right? All right. Protect yourself, you know. Protest against these things. Call them out. All right. Anyways, thank you guys for coming in. I uh, hope you guys see you in the next. Bye.